My girlfriend hates it when we take a bath together and I practice skipping rocks. <laughs> now she sits down the same end as me. It's not as fun. <laughs> I was in bed with her the other night, laying there reading my secondhand diary that I bought. You know the pajamas with the feet? I just had the feet. <laughs> you know when you put a stick in the water and it looks like it's bent, but it really isn't? That's why I don't take baths. So I'm laying there, and she says to me, let me ask you this. And I said, what? And she said, if you could know how and when you were going to die, would you want to know? And I said, no. She said, forget it then. <laughs> so I get out of the bed. I figured I'd go for a walk. She said, how long are you going to be gone? I said, the whole time. Walking down the street and I see a staple to a telephone pole, a poster. It says, reward, lost $50. If found, just keep it. <laughs> and I'm walking around, I'm thinking about everything. Not everything, like one thing at a time. <laughs> thinking about how I just got call waiting on my phone, so now I'm going to have to get another answering machine. I can levitate birds, but nobody cares. <laughs> it's a good thing there's gravity, otherwise when birds died, they'd just stay right up there. <laughs> Hunters would be all confused. <laughs> Imagine if birds were tickled by feathers. see a bird fly by laughing hysterically. <laughs> I have an air conditioner in the window in my house. Last summer, I turned it around the other way. I turned it off full blast, and it got cold out. <laughs> Watched the weather that night. They said it was supposed to be warm. I don't understand. And I was like this. Whenever I fill out an application, it says, in case of emergency, notify, I put doctor. <laughs> what the hell is my mother going to do? <laughs> OK, I'm here now. Open them up. I'm going to get a tattoo over my whole body of me but taller. I remember the day the candle shop burned down. Everybody just stood around and sang happy birthday. I bought this thing for my car. You put it on your car. It sends out this little noise so when you drive through the woods, deer won't run in front of your car. I installed it backwards by accident. <laughs> Driving down the street with a herd of deer chasing me. <laughs> Those were the days. I was driving down the street past the gas station. There were two signs in the window, help wanted, self-service. So I went in and hired myself. <laughs> I made myself the boss. <laughs> I took all the money and I left. <laughs> I was driving down a street 100 miles an hour for no reason. The police stopped me for speeding. They said, why are we going for so fast? I said, why? I had my foot to the floor. It 
sends more gas through the carburetor. <laughs> Makes the engine go faster. <laughs> the whole car just takes off like that. <laughs> I said, see this right here, see this? This steers it. <laughs> One time I went through a stop sign, they stopped me. They said, why do you go through the sign? I said, hey, I don't believe everything I read. <laughs> mm. Been doing a little work around my house. I put hardwood floors over wall to wall carpeting. <laughs> I put fake brick wallpaper over a real brick wall. <laughs> Just so I'd be the only one who knew. People come over, they say, go ahead, touch it, it feels real. <laughs> On the walls of my house, I have paintings of the rooms above them. <laughs> so I never have to go upstairs. <laughs> Doesn't matter what temperature a room is, it's always room temperature. <laughs> My father always used to tell me that, uh, room temperature. On the other hand, you have different fingers. <laughs> when the trees blow back and forth, that's what causes the wind. <laughs> Sponges grow in the ocean. That kills me. I wonder how much deeper the ocean would be if that didn't happen. <laughs> Woke up this morning, I was folding my bed back into a couch. I almost broke both my arms because it's not one of those kind of beds. <laughs> It's hard for me to buy clothes because I'm not my size. <laughs> I take extra medium. <laughs> it's just like medium, but just a little bit extra. I like to aggravate the salesman when I go into the store. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, do you have anything I would like? He says, how do I know what you would like? I said, you started this. <laughs> then I go over to where they make keys. See this? This is a copy. I want you to make me the original. <laughs> walked up to a tourist information booth. I walked up and I said, yes, yeah, so uh, tell me about some people who were here last year. <laughs> some land. It was kind of cheap. It was on somebody else's property. <laughs> Bought an ant farm. I don't know where I'm going to get tractors that small. <laughs> I bought a cordless extension cord. <laughs> it's like you don't even know. Yesterday, I bought a decaffeinated coffee table. <laughs> you can't even tell by looking at it. 